guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time. Um, I'm currently in the process of moving and so I was just getting everything ready for that. But I'm back and I am pre-filming a lot of videos so hopefully there'll be two a week for the foreseeable future. Today I wanted to show you how I do my simple everyday makeup look um, and this is my simple everyday makeup look. <laughs> um, it is honestly very simple, very quick, very easy and uses very few products. So um, I did want to film it as a routine video, um, but our bathroom lighting is extremely yellow, and especially because it's got yellow walls as well, and there's not really anywhere to put the camera, so it's quite a bad angle. So I thought I would talk you through it and then put a montage over. So what I didn't film originally was my skincare routine. That's because it's very similar to my nighttime routine which is either going to go before this video or after this video, but it is recorded. Um, but it is very much the same as my nighttime routine. So I thought I would just talk you through it. So first of all, I start in the morning, I wake up and I have a shower. In the shower, I use my 3-in-1 cleanser. Now this is the normal to oily, but I have been using the um, oily to acne one which is completely empty. So this is the other one I had in stock. I used this one and now I'm using this one morning and night until it runs out. So once I come out of the shower I brush my teeth and then I do my moisturising steps. So my moisturising steps is two pumps of climate control followed by one pump of Senoserum C. Now onto my makeup itself. So I did a makeup, everyday makeup look on my personal YouTube channel, oh, probably two years ago. And up until I started selling Senegents and up until about September, it has not changed. Um, since I would say end of November, this has been my routine. Um, and I'm still in the process of switching over to Senegents makeup completely. Um, but I am enjoying using some of their products and mixing and matching with my own, um, which I'll use until they run out, obviously. So um, once I've done the um, Senegent skincare routine, I then put my daytime moisturizer on. I have quite sensitive skin, so this is the oily um, sensitive version. Is that what it's called? Yeah, complete sensitive day cream. Um, I don't use very much moisturiser at all, so this has still probably got a couple of months left, and I've had it for probably six months already. Um, so I'm just going to continue using that for a while. Now, this is where I start the montage, because our makeup, as you know with Lip Sense, molecularly bonds to your lips and you need as clean a surface as possible for that molecular bond to occur. It's the same with our Make Sense foundation. So I use our Make Sense original foundation in ivory. And because it needs that clean base to molecularly bond, um, I do like to let my moisturiser absorb into the face as quick as much as possible. So I tend to um, go get dressed in this time. So I put all my, I do all my skincare, I put my moisturiser on, and then I go get dressed. Now, in the past, I couldn't do that because my, my foundation was a powder foundation and it used to get all over my clothes. But now, because it is a liquid foundation, I can get dressed and then do my foundation. So, once I've got dressed, I then come back and put my foundation on. Now, as you can see from the video, there, I've heard a lot of different ways to use it, but I personally prefer to use a stippling brush um, this is quite a um, dense brush and it's one more for, um, well, stippling. So like, um, uh, what do you call this? Like a bouncing motion rather than a, either circular motion or a swiping motion. So this one is more for bouncing. So, like I said, I've seen a couple of ways to do this. Some people put a couple of pumps on the lid. Some people put a couple of pumps on the hand. Personally, I find that that wastes a, not a lot of product, but a little bit of product because you get leftover on your skin, leftover on your lid. So, I like to put about a quarter of a pump on to the brush at a time, and then I do one area at a time. So, first of all, I start with my um, forehead and nose, then each cheek, then my chin, 
and above my top lip. And usually I go back over both my cheeks and a little bit of my chin if I've got breakouts. And as you could probably tell from the video, I have got a lot of breakouts on my chin at the moment. So I did need quite a bit extra than normal. Well, not normal because I do have quite a lot of breakouts, but in those areas more than the non-acne areas. So I tend to use about two pumps per application. So once I've got all my makeup on, I then um, st uh, bounce it in with little motions like this to make sure it's got everywhere. Making sure, as I forgot the first day, to do your nose as well, especially the end of the nose because it ends up being a different colour otherwise. Um, also with the excess product, I then take it down my chin because no one wants, I think they're called slag lines. Not the greatest name, but you don't want to have the line and then a different coloured chin. However, our Make Sense Foundation is really incredible because it does match two to three shades either side of what it is. So if you pick the wrong shade, it's not going to matter too much. Um, I then go in with our Shadow Sense con as concealer and I use the shade Candlelight. Um, I am really excited to try our light concealer because it's a new formula and it was released in the UK this week. Um, but I really like candlelight, I think it's really easy to apply because it's got the brush and you just put it on your areas and then I do the exact same thing. So once I've put this on in all my areas of need, I then bounce it in with the stippling brush. I then, as you can probably tell from the video, I go and get um, finished getting ready, so I do my make, I do my hair. So once I've done my concealer, I do my hair. This is because the makeup tends to settle into your skin. Um, and matches perfectly so you want to let it sit there for a couple of minutes once I've done my hair I come back and I put my blush on now I'm currently using um, a Bare Minerals blusher brush which is super soft and I'm currently using number 7 um, blush in a rose blossom I like a bright pink um, because I'm not going out today I am doing a simple makeup that doesn't really need to last that long so I am using up my product when I'm not, uh, my own product, well, I mean, Senegence is my own product, but I'm using my non senegence makeup when I don't need to, to last a long time. If I was going out, I would use either Mulberry Shadow Scents or Pouty Pink Blush Scents. They're my two favourite blushes from Senegence. Um, but I have this left and I want to use it up. I don't want it going to waste, so I am slowly using this up in the meantime as well. And then, of course, I usually finish with lip scents. As I said, I'm not going out today. So I decided to go for a slightly simpler look and just go for glossy gloss, which I think is really pretty for just a day, every day, um, stay at home look, especially when I'm going to be packing boxes all day. <laughs> so yeah, that is my everyday makeup routine. If you obviously wanted to wear lip scents, you can go see my lip scents video on how to apply. And all you would do then is prime your lips with oops, wipe it off thoroughly, um, wipe your lips clean again, make sure they're dry, and then apply lip scents in the three layers that I show you in that video. Anyway, that is my simple makeup routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Um, I'm not the best at applying makeup, but this is what works for me, especially with my acne skin. Um, and yeah, that's all. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. <laughs>